Hi, it's Pastor Ness. We're talking about faith as we go through the, the Heroes of Faith chapter in the Bible, Hebrews chapter 11. Before that chapter gets to any heroes of faith, though, it starts by talking about faith and perhaps the foundation of the whole Bible itself. Listen, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 3 says, By faith we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. You want to talk about faith, God starts way back at the start, at the very beginning. You could say that the first chapter of the Bible, Genesis chapter 1, is the foundation of everything that comes next. God's world is based on the fact that God created the universe, that God made everything out of nothing, that God used his powerful word to create everything that exists. It shouldn't surprise us then that the devil has fought so hard to rid our society of belief in God as our creator. You know how prevalent the, the theory of evolution is. You know how prevalent it is to believe that our world wasn't created by God in six days a few thousand years ago. Instead, it was formed by chance over billions of years. And soon children are going to go back to their schools, and that's exactly what they're going to hear. That there's no God. That there's no one in control of what we see around us. We're just here by chance. That we're accidents. We're animals who've happened to evolve farther than other animals have. And you know what the result of that is? It's people who feel like accidents. People who feel like their lives have no meaning. People who feel like a world is spinning out of control. Isn't that what we see all around us when you fall away from faith in God's creation? You're left in a world without meaning, without purpose, without hope. That's why it's great to hear God's reminder. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. You're not an accident. Our world isn't here by chance. You are the creation of God. God made you and everything that exists. God gave you your body and your soul, your eyes and ears and every part of you. It's God who still preserves you every day by giving you the food that you need, the job that you have, by controlling the world for your good and mine, what a blessing it is to know by faith that the universe was formed at God's command. In a world that can so often seem to not have purpose or meaning, you can know that you are the, the child of God because of what Jesus has done for you. You can know that you're God's special creation. Whatever problem you face in your body, God knows he made you. However out of control your world seems, it's not. God's the one who's ruling the whole universe for your good. You see how this is the foundation of everything that we believe about God? There is a God. There is a creator who made you and me in our world. You know, it can be hard to believe that. You know, there's so many forces pushing against that idea from God's word. So just remember this. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command. So that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. You're no accident. You're God's special creation. Say a prayer about that. Dear Lord God, as we talk about faith in you, you remind us that it takes faith to believe that you're the creator of the world. Lord, so often around us we hear thoughts that we human beings are just here by chance, that we're just highly developed animals, that there really doesn't seem to be a purpose or control over our world. How great to know that that's not true. How great to know that every one of us is your special creation. How great to know that you're still with us every single day, that you have a purpose for our lives that you're guiding us home to heaven by faith in Jesus. Help us, dear Lord, by faith to believe in you and your wonderful creation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless your day.